Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Put it down. Right place. What a shabby bedroom. Is this really the one? He does not at all seem to be the intelligent person Al spoke of. Mealy. How unsightly. But as I am so magnanimous, I shall allow it. However. <laughs> Hurry and wake up. Who do you think you slumber before? <laughs> what the? What just happened? What on earth? Fool. Where do you think you are looking? Huh? How dare you present such an uncouth face, commoner? I will not stand for such impertinence in my presence. Actually, if I think of it as a chance to rehearse dangerous conversations, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad to meet her in my dreams? I am impressed you can daydream even in my presence. Of course, it is execrable to try and cause me to be impressed by anyone. There is no other option but to be head fools like you myself. S sorry I'm sorry. Just tell me what's going on. My jester informed me of yesterday's events. A meritorious deed deserves a reward. Therefore, I have come to commend you personally. Yeah, sorry about that, bro. I didn't get a chance to stop her, you know? She was like a flash of light. Too fast for the naked eye to see. You definitely don't seem sorry about that. I doubt you even tried to stop her. Oh, seeing right through me, huh? Of course I didn't stop her. I wouldn't want to put the princess in a bad mood and off me just like that. Still, though... Huh? Why are you staring at me like that? You are being incredibly rude. No, I was just thinking about how strange today has been. I never thought you, of all people, would visit me at this inn. I already told you while we were in that seedy bedroom of yours. An exemplary deed must be rewarded. This also pertains to the meeting regarding the Royal Selection's postponement. It is a matter that relates to you, is it not? Yeah, I really appreciate this. I guess if we shouldn't know about the meeting in the first place, there'd be no way to negotiate our way inside the castle. Be grateful. If you so wish, I shall permit you to worship and revere my presence. I wouldn't go that far. I'm thankful to you, but this is supposed to be a reward, right? Thanks to you, we'll be able to join this meeting and bring some important info back to Amelia. We really appreciate that. Yes, we are deeply pleased that you have bestowed us this favor, Miss Priscilla. <laughs> do not thank me. I do as I wish. This is simply a result of that. The world exists for my sake, after all. Subaru Natsuki and Rem. I see you were able to enter Castle Ground safely. Crochet! Uh, well, how do I put this? It was more at the behest of this princess's whim. Priscilla Barial? I never expected you two to be acquainted. The truth is, I also sent an envoy to invite you here. What? You did that for us? Oh dear, I can't just ignore this. I never imagined Crochet would be doing the same thing. That voice. Anastasia Hoshin. 
That's right. I'm here too. It's only been a day since we last saw each other, hasn't it? Anastasia, what do you mean Crucie is doing the same thing? It isn't all that complicated, you know? I'm saying I also sent someone to fetch you and Rem. They arrived at the inn you're staying at, but said they were chased off by some crazed princess. A crazed princess? What? How dare you foist such lowly eyes upon me? Unlike the likes of you who sent mere messengers, I saw to him personally. Is it not natural for your transport to be dismissed? Of course. I would never lose face over such trifles. But I can't say I'm pleased by it. If we let you get the better of us like this, it doesn't bode well for things in the royal selection. <laughs> hey, now! Subaru, it seems your actions these past few days have made everyone concerned for us. That's why we're in this dilemma. Like a guy dating multiple women at once. I wish I were a shellfish. Rem would not like that. Although, shellfish do open their mouths when heated. So that would be one way to open you. I don't even get the luxury of clamming myself up! It is inevitable that we would confront each other like this. But regardless, it is a welcome fact that Subaru Natsuki came to the castle. That's true. None of us intended to get ahead by excluding one of the royal candidate's camps. Missing such opportunities reveals the extent of one's capabilities. My inviting him on a whim should be noted in that regard. I don't feel good at all, though. Even if it does feel like I got to experience women fighting over me. In fact, I've got some serious heartburn from all this. Huh? What's up, Rem? Oh no, pay me no mind. I just haven't seen Miss Melty anywhere. At least, it shouldn't change, right? Let's all get together! Is there not a more pressing issue at hand? Huh? Miss Priscilla, what issue do you speak of? <laughs> do not play dumb with me. I won't allow you to act as if you've never received the report. Regarding that man? Do you mean the one who is supposedly trying to interfere with the royal selection? Wait a second. This is... According to the report, the one who encountered the threat was not you, Miss Priscilla. It was that commoner shirking in the corner over there. Without hearing his side of the story, you hardly have a tale worth telling. Hence why I brought him here today. I knew you didn't just bring me here out of the kindness of your heart. I don't feel appreciated at all. The reward fitting your exemplary deed was plenty repaid when I personally awoke you. You call that rude awakening a reward? Don't lump me in with Al. What's that supposed to mean? And don't involve me in all this. Very well then. What is your name and affiliation? My name is Subaru Natsuki. And my affiliation? I'm Miss Amelia's servant. Unfortunately, she was unable to make it here today. As her representative, I have a note expressing as much from Miss Amelia's guardian. Margrave Mathers. Here, this is it. We've already confirmed the document. There's no mistaking the Margrave gave his express permission for this boy to attend in his stead. Hmm, I understand. So then, Mr. Subaru Natsuki, will you tell us what happened in your own words? Oh man, where do I start? I'll just get right to it. There's a masked clown assassin that's targeting the royal candidates. I encountered him yesterday when I was out with Rem, and we got in a fight. Somehow, though, we managed to drive him off. Anyway, that's who we're dealing with. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture him, so 
I don't know if he's still in the royal capital. I see. You have provided some very valuable information. Still, it seems you have been through a great ordeal to do so. May I add on to that? To tell the truth, I just recently heard that such an assassin exists from Natsuki here. I heard Natsuki bumped into this assassin and fought him only a few hours after we had our discussion. I feel incredibly regretful about not taking him seriously then. I also have something I wish to add. Concerning Subaru Natsuki's character, he is not the type to tell lies of ill intent. I can assure you all of this. Fouché. He is earnest in his duty and service to Amelia. I would be blind not to recognize it. <sighs> what is it? Do not look at me with those beggar's eyes. Such is the height of disrespect. Well, I just figured you'd have something to add with those two speaking up. What a vulgar, boorish request. Though I understand your confusion, seen as the Lioness and Vixen have spoken out. Lioness? What? Are you referring to me as the Vixen? How rude. They have merely given you an appropriate evaluation. As well, while this commoner may be the pinnacle of impudence, an achievement is still an achievement. I admit that you and my jester drove off that odd Cretan from my abode. I recognize your efforts in this endeavor. I permit you to stake your life for my sake again next time. Like hell I would! If I'm going to offer my life for someone, it'll only be for Melee! Hmm. It seems you have garnered quite a bit of trust from each of the royal candidates. Trust? I'm honored you'd say so, but I think it's a bit different from that. Yes, I think so too. Subaru is a very good person. What? I don't have anything to say. Both of us are probably wondering just why the hell we're here in the first place. Well, Felt does have her own situation to deal with, so she probably doesn't have the time to consider mine right now. I know I shouldn't be the one to say this, but with the royal candidates backing us like this, I hope it lends more credence to my story. Of course, we are considering this matter very seriously. Yet you failed to mention this assassin's name. Wolf, the malevolent masked magician. At least, that's what he called himself. Indeed. I will alert the Knights of the Royal Guard and conduct a thorough investigation. Yeah, please do. If I may make one final inquiry, Mr. Natsuki. Uh, oh, yes? What is it? Hmm. Naturally, you intend on conveying the information discussed during this meeting to Miss Amelia afterward, correct? That's... well... yeah, most likely. In that case, would you please inform Miss Amelia and Margrave Mathers to visit the royal capital as well? <laughs> You want Amelia to come to the royal capital? Now that six royal candidates have appeared in contradiction to the Dragonstone, we must properly question each and every one. I understand the sudden nature of this request, but I ask that you convey such urgency to them. <sighs> Mr. Natsuki, does our request inconvenience you in some way? Uh, well, that's... No, not at all. We will promptly convey the urgency of your message to Lord Roswell and Miss Amelia. Rem, you... Now is not the time, Subaru. If we show any hesitation here, then they will all suspect Miss Amelia is up to something. Ugh, right. That'd be troublesome. Mr. Natsuki, if your companion is saying as such... Oh, yes, I... <sighs> I agree. Hmm. It took some time before we all came to an agreement, but I'm glad to hear you say so. 
very well. Now to wrap things up. Miss Melty, what is it you wanted to discuss earlier? Huh? Oh, yes, right! I wanted to bring this up earlier, but I'd like to suggest we all have a get-together. It would be great to get to know everyone some more. Huh. With all that sudden questioning, I didn't know what to expect. Damn that Priscilla. As I thought, nothing good ever comes from being associated with her. Still, though... I don't think she's the type to just change her plans without a solid reason. Hmm. You seem to be quite familiar with all the royal candidates. No wonder Miss Anastasia shows interest in you. I wouldn't say I know them all that well. I just know of them. Humility may be a virtue, but you should just accept the praise I'm giving you. Your actions will help save the lives of all the candidates, after all. Don't you think that's a bit of a stretch? Is it? You foiled someone's plot to interfere with the royal selection, and took action to warn those targeted. Not to mention that you fought off the assailant, gauging his true threat level in the process. Is that not worthy of recognition? Hmm... Hmm? <laughs> Is something the matter, Mr. Subaru Natsuki? Can you not call me Mr.? It's weird. Just call me Subaru like everyone else. And you're... Ah, uh, yes. An oversight on my end. I apologize for the late introduction. I am Julius Euclius. I am a knight of the Royal Guard, serving as Miss Anastasia's knight. It's a pleasure to meet you. Due to the Royal Selection, we will be in each other's company for a while. <laughs> Let us both do our utmost to serve our masters and strive for prosperity for the kingdom. You're really gung-ho about sticking to the rules, aren't you? Hmm? Ah, Subawu and Julius! What are Mewtwo talking about? An interesting combination of people who've gathered here. Would you mind if we joined you? Yeah, go for it. I was just about to start talking about the weather, knowing that neither of us can hold a conversation for very long. Nobody ever talks about that seriously anyway. Reinhard, Ferris, are you already acquainted with Subaru? Yes, we met a while back in the royal capital. Thanks to Subaru, I was led to Miss Felt. That's putting a spin on it. If you say it like that, Felt will give me the stink eye. Fairy's case is way simpler. Subaru is just one of Fairy's patients, and that's how I know him, meow. I see. Your connections with those involved in the royal selection run deeper than I imagined. Perhaps it is I who has had the late start. Don't treat me like I'm some lucky statue or something. Meeting me sooner doesn't change anything. Also... Also... The one who's gonna win the royal selection is gonna be my melee. You all think your camps will be the one to take the throne, don't you? I believe all the knights gathered here wish for their own masters to win. But I'm impressed in your confidence for saying that so boldly, Subaru. While I would normally tell one to keep such thoughts to themselves, I suppose a more aggressive approach is needed here. Fairies always thought that Miss Cruchet is the best of the best. Nothing will ever change my mind on that. Hey, I see the whole crew's gathered around. Mind if I butt in too? Don't you mean we? <laughs> to tell the truth, I feel a bit left out. Oh, you guys came over too. Well... Feel free. All right, then. So, what were you all talking about? We were just conversing about each of the candidates, as well as our zeal for the royal selection. The candidates! That's good! That's very good. I get it. I totally get it. All the candidates are good-looking women, after all. And the ruler is the face of the kingdom. Therefore, a beautiful woman is the prime choice. On that note, it's not strange if any of them take the crown. 
What, do you think this is a beauty pageant? Besides, if the rulers decided on looks alone, it wouldn't be a fair competition. Huh? What do you mean by that, bro? Of course, when it comes to beauty, my Melee is the most beautiful of them all! If this were a beauty pageant, Melee's victory would be all but assured. Wait, wait! Isn't that a bit hasty, Meow? Why don't you get to decide the winner, Subaru? Huh? If we're talking about real beauty, Barry thinks qualities such as dignity, conduct, and elegance need to be considered. I agree with Ferris. It's true that beauty can be observed simply on a canvas like a painting. But humans have layers that run deeper. To truly say a person is beautiful, one must evaluate every aspect of that person's character. That means the winner would be... Miss Crochet! Miss Anastasia. Ferris, I understand your point. Miss Crochet is certainly a fine lady who commands respect. Fairy also understands that Miss Anastasia is an elegant young woman. Becoming the president of a large company at her age is commendable. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Fairy's relieved too. So, it's Miss Crochet, right? Of course it's Miss Anastasia. Now, now, just relax, you two. This is an important get-together. Don't you think it's dumb to get so heated over this? Well, I, I guess you're right. Yeah, sorry, Julius. I got a little on edge there. No, I should have chosen my words better. We're friends. Even though we belong to different camps involved in the royal selection, that fact remains unchanged. Whoa, amazing. You settled that pretty well. It's true that all of the royal candidates are beautiful in their own respects. Regardless of who becomes the next ruler, the image of the kingdom will no doubt be exemplary. When you consider that, a petty argument like this is quite absurd. By the way, what's your opinion, Tiga? Obviously, Mel is the cutest. I think there'd be so much competition about who supports who. That just shows how serious everyone takes this. What about you, Sir Al? Oh, don't say my name like that. I'm a humble vagabond. Just Al is fine. Okay then. Al, are you comfortable not throwing your hat into the ring? Me? Nah, I've got nothing to add. You're right that it'd be a good fight if it were a beauty contest, but... But what? My princess has the biggest boobs, so we win outright. Should I add in any of the lovely qualities about Miss Felt? Man, that was pretty ridiculous. That Tiga carelessly blurting out something like that. Subaru, you seem to be having an exciting chat with the other knights. I don't know if it was exciting so much as it was tense. You saw what we were up to. What about you, Rem? At the consideration of Mrs. Crochet and Anastasia, I was allowed to listen to their conversation. All the royal candidates are quite enthusiastic about the royal selection. I know there was nothing we could do, but I wish Miss Amelia could have joined us. Yeah, right. I get the feeling that we're a bit behind on all this. As for getting in contact with her... I requested an express messenger to go to the manor while we remain here. And about that other matter... No response from your sister? No. The manor does not seem to be facing any trouble. Is that so? That's good. At the earliest, Miss Amelia and the others will arrive in the Royal Capital by fire time tomorrow. It's not like we can tell them to take their time, after all. I thought you might say that, 
so I made arrangements to meet them at Flugel's tree. You're amazing, Rem! Oh my... Being your amazing bride, you're making me blush. I didn't say anything like that. What are you two doing fooling around over here? Everyone else is leaving. Are you not done yet? Oh, we should get out of here too. As for you... Hmm. What does that mean? If you've got something to say, then say it. Really? Then... Felt... You look great in that dress. What? Oh, you think so too, huh? I've got my complaints about that sword saint, but he's certainly got a good eye for these things. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him to make fun of me! Ow! Ugh. Jeez, getting carried away like that? I was reluctant about all this, you know. Um, Miss Felt, I apologize if I'm speaking out of place, but you should not tug your hair so much. What? Oh, right. Granny might give me the waterworks. Not to mention, your hair is very pretty. What are you, another Reinhardt? Speaking of, I don't see him around anymore. I told him to wait outside. I wanted to talk to you about something alone. Me? Yeah, you. You passed along a message to old man Rom, didn't you? Thanks to that, I learned that Felt was cooped up in the royal castle with that sword saint. Although it did get a little messy. I still called for old man Rom, knowing the risk. Still though, how'd you know Karuman and I knew each other? Huh? Oh, that's, uh... What? Just a hunch. You liar! There's no way you could have figured that out with a hunch! <laughs> Come on, man, we're thanking you here. There's no need to hide anything from us. Hold on, Phil. This youngster's probably got some things he just can't say right now. Especially considering your relationship with one another moving forward. Our relationship moving forward, huh? We're going to be mutual enemies. It's not that severe. I wouldn't lie about something like that. <sighs> well, whatever. That's fine. Thanks to your little scheme, I got to meet up with old man Rom again. I really owe you big for that. Consider me in your debt. Felt... Are you sure that's okay? Doesn't matter if I think it's okay or not. You're not gonna spill your beans anyway, are ya? Then this conversation is over. There's no point hounding you about it any further. I expected something else, too. But I don't have any complaints with it ending like this. Felt says it's a debt. So add that to my tab, too. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just give me a holler. I always repay my debts. That's just our style. Same goes for me. Anyway, now you've got the message. Seeing her in that dress and feeling her determination? Felt really does fit the role of a royal candidate. Were you nervous? More like, overwhelmed? You could say she has guts, I guess. Especially since there's someone else I want to win. Man, what could I even possibly do? You are working hard, Supra. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rem. I hope nothing happens tonight.